Oh, you can see you in the disc. Okay, so here's my hard drive. This is just a test one that uh, doesn't matter. Um, just to test out the tool I've made. Oh, I'm bleeding all over. Um, and uh, yeah, this is just to test out the tool. And then at some point, I'm probably going to try it on. There's a train going past. At some point, I'm going to try it out on another hard drive. Which I don't care about, but um, that I haven't already taken the the platters off. This one, I this one I have. So this is the fantastic platter removing um, tool that I've made from a tin of sweet corn, as you can probably tell. Um, uh, the the tin happens to be pretty much the right size. Cutting myself everywhere. Okay, this is dangerous work. Watch for your fingers. Um, the tin happens to be pretty much the right size to um, exactly fit over the platters. Um, this is a Waitrose um, sweet corn tin, but I think it's probably a standard size. So I've made a slit up the side, and there's an elastic band here that I can roll down, uh, which will clamp the uh, tin round the platters. And then there's a hole in the middle here where I can unscrew the uh, platters for the motor mechanism. So I'm just going to show you how it works. So here's my here's my drive. I've already removed the head uh, piece. Like I said, this is just a test one. So I would be putting something underneath the heads to to stop them from touching each other and be very careful with this one. I've obviously knackered already. So this goes over the top of the of the platters. Like so, and then simply roll the elastic band down to tighten it up. The elastic band is very tight, and I guess you want it to be very tight because you don't want these things slipping. Get out of the way. And if you look down the end there, can you see it? Well, you can't quite see, but in that hot, in the, in there, you can obviously get to the get to the screw. Oh yeah, you can just see it at the bottom there. So you can get to that screw. So I'm just going to undo that now. I haven't quite worked out what to do about that. Probably we can use some blue tack to hold on to the screw. And then the idea is that you can just lift this up and put it straight onto the new drive without rocking it around, otherwise the, the disc in between the platters will start to wander about. And the idea is we go straight back onto the other drive, and you pop it back on, and you'd carefully put the screw back in. How are we doing on time? Three and a half minutes. Oh, okay, that's right. And then obviously you just lift the last man back up again. Pull this off. And with luck, those two were, uh, you know, are still aligned exactly as they were. So my next plan is to find another laptop hard drive, you know, just an old one like this. Uh, but that's still got data on that works and to make sure I can plug it into the computer and then basically I'm going to try using this tool this tool to take the platters off and then put it back straight back onto the same hard drive and um, you know see if I can read see if I can read data back off it that's the plan so I know you can buy the tools in the shops and they're I don't know two three hundred pounds so this is my attempt at making one for about 56p, the cost of a tin of sweet corn. At the very least, I'll have some nice sweet corn.